Hi right, guys, welcome back to Trails for Daybreak. Uh, we're in the Creole Village right now. T took a little bit of break from this game. Oh, bicycle theft. That's right. Okay. Anyway, let's try searching around just a little more. Oh, 
Shit.
me this is your last warning this is your last warning
Please call a friend to come and pick you up. And at the corner when you pass the last bus. At the driveway with a simple please or in the living room. Keep yourself in the overhead. However, you can do it. Thanks for doing your work to keep our own safe. A message from the Ride Alive drive zone.
You guys hear that? Sounds like whistling. I think it's coming from northwest of here. I got 30 bucks and I got my payments coming in. So I have money uh, to sp sp spot me a gizmo and I'll pay you on Friday. Or Friday. Friday's good. Friday's really good. Ah, it's going to be a great day. Oh. 
How long have you been standing there? I'd hardly call myself a master, but your praise is most appreciated. I recognize you. You're the dashing heroes from Edith who saved us from those vicious wolves. Indeed, I had a front row seat to the performance, and what a marvelous performance it was. By the way, my name is Melchior. I am but a humble, traveling bohemian, a lone wanderer of the world whose only compass is his heart. My heart guided me to a bus at the Methodon port, and it took me all the way through the capital before stopping here. It won't be hard to find a skilled pro to fix this leak, but before I turn it in, Alas, it does not put food on the table. I must stop for work on occasion to keep my howling stomach at bay. I do not have the luxury of purchasing first-class vehicles like yours. I envy you, my spiky-haired friend. Uh, but it's going to be a shift that is, you know, just a couple seats one way or the other. Uh, I'm 
looking forward to getting there. Actually, after the House, the Senate, and the presidency lined up, we have an agenda in place, and now we actually know we need to go and pass real results to help the American people. So what do you think the next four years are going to be like? I guess it's like a lot of day one agenda. The Democrats are already preparing to fight back to the next. Yeah, you know, which is unfortunate because the American people have spoken. They said that they want an improved economy. They want to bring down inflation. That means ending the massive and reckless spending that's coming in Washington, D.C. To help them right now, we need to provide real tax relief. So that's going to be something that's on the very early agenda. The other thing that is a big issue in this campaign was border security. And Democrats were called out by a call that was called out because for the task for it for voting against border funding 10 different times. Uh, during the course of the campaign, she realized that was a problem for her. So she had a change course and said, oh, she was in favor of the bipartisan border bill. She didn't mention all of the terrible things that were in that bill, including allowing illegal immigrants to come into the country for uh, a year with no, no procedures, no vetting. Uh, so what I look at, though, is on the campaign trail, Republicans and Democrats were talking about border security, talking about funding a wall. Well, I think we should actually go out and do those things that the American people voted for. Uh, so, for me, it's the other possible. If that's where the agreement is, let's get that done. Help America secure our country and move forward from there. How do you think David is taken up in the Senate? Yeah, it, that's an extremely close race. Uh, he ran a great campaign here in Pennsylvania. I know that there are roughly maybe 20 or 30,000 votes separating the two of them. I've heard conflicting opinions on if they're on a outstanding balance to actually change that outcome. Uh, but I think he ran a great campaign. I think he's in a great position to win. And now we do need to fight to make sure that only legal votes are made so that there's nothing going on behind the scenes. Uh, I'm confident that they have the operation in place to actually execute on that, make sure that the campaign is free. And uh, I think hopefully we'll see a, a senator elect in Dave McCormick here as they break the house banning. So, quickly in case any of your constituents are watching the results, they are. You're going to be a freshman going into Washington, D.C. There's going to be a learning curve. So, how do you deal with that? And then, you know, you can move on and be honest. You know, as this state representative, that was one thing that I talked about on the campaign. I do have that legislative experience, obviously, from a whole different world uh, in a number of ways in Washington, D.C., but I'm going to draw and focus on the things that I was uh, doing on during the state house representative. So, uh, things like workforce development and financial services reform, and then also uh, I actually passed legislation through the House uh, here in Pennsylvania to expand the fair by and crack down on the hiring of illegal immigrants in some industries. So a lot of these issues are both state and federal now, and that gives me a great uh, set of knowledge and experiences that I can go to and, and start hitting the ground running on day one on all those topics. So looking forward to, to the committees that I get assigned to uh, in a couple weeks. We actually have freshman orientation as this all uh, coming up next week. Uh, so we're, we're going to we're gonna be back to school. Yeah, we've got a couple weeks left. I want to say
Back action in the secretary. He's taking the fire every day. Uh, Chris Asadina may be escaping there, absolutely. Uh, I also think, you know, we're going to get back there, and I think it'll be good. I think the Governor Jeff Brandy's name has been brought up. I also think this. I think people, uh, especially in the channels, are saying he just wants people to do what he wants to do. It's not really. He wants people to get more than a day. But wants to gain it. But if he doesn't want to gain it, he's going to see Both go in the washroom, they can pick and choose. Should have done that. Right. Sorry. Like, Richie Torres in New York. 
uh, he took aim at his own party. Uh, he said the sights of his, uh, uh, his sights of defeat were staring at us the whole time. We're simply in denial about him. This guy in the New York also was pro Israel. Yeah. In the middle of all the protests around him. I think one thing that I have to evaluate as well is he wasn't just a candidate of God. It's a message of God. They're not speaking to every single multi-human children that they once had. Rejected them. I was getting some numbers of the exit poll of my state of Texas. About 34% of black males that voted for me. This is astronomical. What brand? The Democrat brand. This is all shit. It is broken. Tell her he's indicating that leg. He's indicating. Meaning every time I go to pet it, he comes back on me and itches my hand and licks my hand. So he's indicating his back leg. Mom, this is not good. Excuse me, so you're speaking, guys, because you have a degree. By the way, the 
Muscle to flex, but your eyes are sharp as a hawk's. But I take back what I said about you being quick on the uptake. If you think you can come at me with a toy gun, then you're in for a world of hurt.
enjoy the death penalty by entering guilty pleas in exchange for love in prison, they must plead guilty to all charges, including the murder of the least 3,000 people who died on 9-11. We are going to get reaction this hour from a man whose father was killed on September 11th. The Biden administration is reportedly bracing from migrants served at our southern border before President-elect Trump takes office in January, and for good reason. Look at this. A caravan of around 3,000 migrants in southern Mexico are currently heading towards the U.S., and a group of around 100 migrants were apprehended in Texas after rushing the border just hours after Trump won the election. According to NBC, smugglers are enticing people to head to the border before Trump implements, quote, extreme security. It's set to open in just a few hours after the Dow surged over 1,500 points following President-elect Donald Trump's victory. Bitcoin also hitting a record high yesterday, over $76,000. And shares of Trump's troop social were up almost 6%. And finally, another squirrel is going viral after making a brief appearance at V.P. Harris's concession speech in Washington, D.C. yesterday. Right before Kamala Harris took the stage, the critter
check out the website. Rest in peace of mind. Life insurance is really important to put off another one. That's why Select Mode makes getting coverage you need. The less than a dollar event, now get a $2 million policy for no medical reason and save a day on it. This is Select Mode on the show. I don't have a clue. I think I'll save it right now. Excellent. We'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Peace out.